Okay, this is the third part. Here's one of those few times that I have to get into the shot. Hello, everybody. What we have here is we have different pulley systems that have been set up to illustrate just why the pulley was one of the most important inventions mankind had when he first invented some of these simple machines thousands of years ago. The pulley can be traced back I believe it can be traced back all the way to the ancient Phoenicians or even farther back uh, thousands of years ago. The pulley system mainly used in ships, however it became used in mines. It became used to lift heavy objects, cranes and other uh, machinery that uses it. We still use it today. Elevators and tall buildings, crane systems that help build these tall buildings all use pulley systems to lift the weights. What I have here is I have a, let's see if I can get it in here so you can see it. This is a, let me see, there it is. It says right there that this is a 500, there we go, 500 gram mass. So what I was showing the students, let me move this one out of the way here. And by the way, this one I set up last weekend took about two and a half to three hours to get this completely set up. But what I have here is I have the first pulley system. This is just one pulley. This is called a direct pull. I am directly pulling another 500 gram mass. And so what I did was I would take the spring scale, put it on here, and sure enough, this first number is 500 grams. So we are directly pulling, directly pulling 500 grams with the force that we ourselves extend to this. So that is a direct pull. The next system that I had set up for the students, let me get direct pull out of the way here is I have a single pulley system. Now this one has pulleys at both the top and the bottom. And in this case, there is two places that are doing the lifting. So we have this string here, which is being held by the top pulley. It's like another set of hands holding on to the mass. I'm putting the mass on here. Come on, fit, there we go. So now, I theoretically should only be holding half of the mass and so I put on the spring scale and sure enough it comes in at approximately 200 grams. So yes, I am only holding half the mass but in order to get this to go up I have to pull the string twice as far to get it to cover the same distance. But I'm only using half of the force, half of the workload to get that accomplished. So, that was a great thing. We still see this today. Uh, families that still have their wells out in front with the, the old-fashioned bucket like you would see on the movies, those will have a direct, or a, yeah, a single pulley system. Next, we have the double pulley system. Let me get that off over here. Here we go. Now, in this one's case, get him down a little bit. This one, I've multiplied the pulleys by two. I have two here and I have two here, which means that I should only be using approximately 25% of the effort required to get this pulley to work. And let me put the spring scale on here. Let me take a look, and sure enough, that's our last bell of the day, by the way. Sure enough, I'm only expending about 100 grams of force in order to get this to work. However, in order to get it to cover the same amount of distance, I have to pull approximately four times the amount of string through the pulley system. However, as the students even found out when we did the lab, they were amazed at just how 
much lighter this actually felt to them. So let's get that one back out of the way over here. We'll put him up out of the way. There we go. Pulley system out of the way. And then we have our final one. This is a triple pulley system. So I have cut this by thirds and I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I have four, what is it, seven places that are holding it now. I'm using a bare fraction of the amount of effort needed to get this pulley system to work. As you can see, I'm just like two fingers here. And if I put the spring scale on this and I come around and I look where I can see this, um, actually, other than just putting some tension on here, it is not registering on my spring scale. The only problem now is I have to pull approximately, what is it, six times the distance to get it to go. However, same mass, but I'm pulling with a fraction of what I did when I had it in the direct pull where I was having to pull the entire 500 grams of mass at the same time. So, our pulley systems. Pulley systems decreasing the uh, mass, that we're, the amount of work, the effort that we have to put into this. Work. And remember, work is force times distance. We could have done this, I could have measured the force in grams times the distance in centimeters, and we could have figured out the work. However, the important thing in this lab was to allow the students to actually feel. I would have them put a finger through the loop and pull. The important thing here was to actually have the students feel how much less force was required to move the mass the same distance. And pulleys, we use them every day. They're used all over. And this is why they were invented thousands of years ago, one of the most important of the simple machines that we have. And I hope you've enjoyed our look at force and motion here in the laboratory. If there's anything you can use, please feel free to use it. Uh, my students who have missed this are going to be able to watch this, take their notes on their piece of paper, and then turn it in for their grade. And now I get to put it all away. But we hope you enjoyed it. And please, uh, before I go, subscribe to the channel. That's Dexter New Mexico Middle School on YouTube.